Juggling Numbers, a game of figures. Hello and welcome, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of English idiomatic expressions. Specifically, we'll unravel the meaning and use of the phrase, juggling numbers. This phrase is not just about math or numbers. It's about skillfully handling complicated situations. So, buckle up as we decode this expression in our daily language. Imagine a juggler expertly tossing balls in the air, keeping them all in motion without dropping any. This image is a perfect metaphor for juggling numbers. It doesn't involve literal juggling, but rather the skillful manipulation or adjustment of numbers. People often use this phrase in business and finance contexts, where accuracy and strategic planning are crucial. You might encounter the phrase, juggling numbers, in various scenarios. It's commonly used to describe 1. Financial management, when accountants or financial managers adjust figures within budgets or forecasts. 2. Statistics and analysis, Analysts might be said to be juggling numbers when they are interpreting data to find meaningful patterns. 3. Everyday life. Even in daily life, you might be juggling numbers when trying to balance your personal budget or when planning a big purchase. To grasp the concept better, let's see it in action in some sentences. The accountant spent the entire afternoon juggling numbers to ensure the budget met the company's financial goals. During the meeting, the marketing team was juggling numbers to predict next quarter's sales figures. It's important to note that juggling numbers is not inherently negative. While it can imply manipulation or adjustment of figures, it doesn't always mean deceit or fraud. The context is key to understanding whether it's being used to denote skillful management or unethical manipulation. And that's a wrap on juggling numbers. Remember, this phrase is about the artful and often necessary manipulation of figures, much like a juggler keeps balls in the air. It's a vivid expression that brings to life the skill and precision needed in managing numbers. Thank you for joining in today's learning journey, and we hope this video leaves you a bit more knowledgeable and confident in using English idioms. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.